Welcome back to the Seed Podcast. It's your girl, Queen SG, and we have a special guest on the line today. We have Marcus and Positive Parker. He's the creator of the Emotional Healing Toolbox. How you doing, Marcus? I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Oh, that's that's great. We do have you on the show today to talk about this great thing you got going on. So for the listeners who don't know, what is the Emotional Healing Toolbox? The Emotional Healing Toolbox is like a culmination of a lot of the work that I've done over the last 15 years of putting together writing books, doing uh, workshops, and, you know, trying to connect parents to teens, trying to, you know, motivate teens and a lot of at-risk teens and give some of those vital uh, little nuggets of, uh, of motivation that people need to, you know, be successful in life. Mm-hmm. Emotionally. And let me, let me put that out there because a lot of people feel like, hey, you know, this should be, you know, get rich thing. It's not that at all. It's mm-hmm. not about, you know, enriching your pockets. It's about enriching your soul inside of you to build up that emotional strength to keep going forward to the next day. Mm-hmm. I'm telling you, that's perfect, man. You hit it right on the nail with that, just enriching the soul. I, I love that. We need more positivity like that with these crucial times going on, all the madness. We we need more positivity yes. like this going on. First thing first, before we dig right into it, where are you from? Play this record as frequently as possible. I'm a Texas boy, a real Texas boy. I'm from a city called Fort Arthur, Texas. Oh, yeah. Texas. I lived in two years in Austin, Texas, and the last 21 years I've been in Dallas. Oh, awesome. Well, first thing first, I want to tell you, thank you so much for serving our country, too, as well. You know, that's a, a okay. that's a bonus on, on what I know <laughs> on everything yeah. else. So thank you so much for that. And, you know, you, you got a whole lot of things going on. First thing first, um, I see that you've been writing books and creating healing products for, you know, a while. How long exactly have you been doing it for? Okay, so part of my first book was called The Product. It was an autobiography. It came out in 2004. Mm-hmm. And it was a, uh, so funky, you know, just based man. on my life and the things that I did. You know, kind of growing up without a whole lot, you know, making a whole lot of money in the stock market because I got into the tech industry. Mm-hmm. So that kind of, uh, you know, propelled me because I was at the right place at the right time. If you remember in the 90s, they used to have this tech boom where everybody was making a lot of money in the stock market, I was one of those people. Wow. And back in the end of the 90s, and so 9-11 came, I was still, I had all my money in the tech stocks, and so I basically went belly up. Mm -hmm. I lost everything, and I had to figure out how to, you know, how to maintain, because everything that I'd ever read or everything that I'd ever been taught prior to that was all about making it meant getting the money, Mm -hmm. and nobody ever talked about building building your insides, building your emotional intelligence, and your, you know, you just your internal strength. Right. So that's kind of how the book developed, and so I've been doing, you know, writing books, and after the book, I started talking at schools and whatnot, so it's been like 15 years. Wow, wow, your experience, man, 15 years in the game, man, that's, that's great to hear. <laughs> And I see um, that you you focus too strongly on emotional healing. What really made you get into emotional healing? Emotional healing was, you know, like that going through things. One of the uh, the triggers in my life was I found who my dad was when I was seventeen years old, okay. and I thought my dad was another man, but I was actually another person who I actually mm. and you know, and just little things like that. You know, when I wrote my book, I started finding out that everybody was dealing with, you know, like emotional triggers that they had, and everybody was just stuffing them away, Mm -hmm. stuffing them away. So if you go to somebody and they'll say, oh, I don't talk about that, Mm -hmm. and then, you know, oh, I don't 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 say that, and they think about, you know, this this, and this, it happened to me a long time ago, or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so as I started researching and realizing that, oh, was like a, a light bulb went on and it was like that's the reason why we have so much trouble moving forward in life mm-hmm. because we have all of these emotional triggers and you know we don't 
address them, we just kind of sweep them under the rug because we don't want to feel the pain that goes along with thinking about that particular thing. Mm-hmm. And so I, I found that, you know, it was possible to heal those emotions that I'm a prime candidate because I was that person who you could say certain things, my day would go from completely happy to sad and miserable just with somebody mentioning something mm-hmm. that reminded me of something that hurt real bad. Right. And now DJ that I've so funky man. work and the process of moving to those things, now it's like I don't even have that fear in me because there's nothing that can be said that can, you know, that can take me off track. Mm-hmm. Uh, amen to that man I, I tell you amen to that I, I really feel with that and I even know other people you know who it's those emotional triggers it's touchy it can be years to go by and it's still they don't know what to do with it they don't know how to you know just get the right. emotions right with it so I mean that's exactly. great They, I, I'm it's sending so everybody your direction <laughs> okay, well, <good>. <laughs> I'm sorry because you, you making me feel like I'm at church right now you, you, you preaching right now <laughs> And I tell you, another thing that I do love, I see that you do motivation rap music. I did and dab a little bit in music, and, you know, I see the current times now. You know, a lot of music they have up here just don't be having no substance, you know. And I always say, we need more motivational rap style music, you know, that can, the youth can relate to it, you know. Yeah, just make you feel good inside, you know. So, what was your inspiration for that? Well, you know, I, I have to say that I believe that I was sort of raised on motivational rap music in a way because I grew up listening to, like, Be Nice and Self Destruction and TRS One. And, you know, back in the day when, you know, when rap kind of first started, it always had an uplifting, positive message to it. Mm-hmm. And it would, it would help the little kid like myself who was listening to these things. And, you know, these, these artists were actually uplifting me. Mm-hmm. You know, because they were saying things that, that really made me, you know, want to excel in life. It made you want to do more in life. And then so as I got older, now I'm the, I'm the father of four children myself. Mm-hmm. And so when I look at, you know, this generation of what they listen to, Play this none of them frequently as very little of them inspires people to go forward in life and move forward. And it's almost like a lot of it is very because it kind of, you know, inadvertently sort of makes people, you know, it kind of pushes you the opposite direction mm-hmm. toward not caring about life and not caring about your neighbor and not showing love to people. Mm-hmm. And a lot of, you know, so that, that's really the reason why. But honestly, when I went to schools, I started in 2004 with the book. And when I would go to schools, the uh, teachers would have me go. And I started going from school to school to school. And then a lot of times the kids couldn't get as much out of it in reading as they would if I would rap a song to them. So they could give a lot of times they could get more out of it. They could be, you know, they would pay more attention if I, instead of writing a chapter called Be Yourself, I did a song called Be Yourself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the kids, they gonna it's gravitate to that yourself. way more. <laughs> and it makes it fun. It makes it fun for them. And, and, and that's exactly. what we need. Like entertainment, right? Like mm. I, I just had a flashback when I was in school. Yeah, when it came to them songs, some teachers was teaching us. Oh, it, it sticks yeah. to you. <laughs> it sticks to you forever. Exactly. You may not remember nothing out of a book, but you gonna remember that catchy tune that that teacher <laughs> been exactly. taught you. Okay. Exactly. So you say that you look up to different rappers in the past, and you know they told stories. What would be your number one favorite rapper that you know you looked up to, motivated you in some way, shape, form? Mine probably. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You know, and I mean, that was from me being very, very little. And he, he had a song called Love's Gonna Get You. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and it told the story about how, you know, him and his family, who it was based on about, you know, like the drug trade and stuff that was really going on at that time. Mm-hmm. But it gave a positive message at the end. And it kind of, you know, so that was definitely my, you know, my inspiration. A lot of, you know, self-destruction and a lot of the things that they would say at that time, you know, promote mm-hmm. bringing everybody together. And it's funny that now, every time something big happens, the solution is always the same. We need to bind together. We need to think positive. We need to do this. 
you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And it's all over the same stuff. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when things are good, then we kind of gravitate to the stuff that kind of is a little bit more destructive than, you know, uh, good for us sometimes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like they want to utilize the the good things, you know, when it, when it's a demise, you know, but just want to right. gravitate towards the bad things or the things not too much good for you, you know, and everything as well. You know, and we right. need folks like you to just, you know, shift the mind change of this because it's crazy. The youth now, I mean, I tell you, I personally, I don't even listen to the radio. I try to go Please look for motivational music, you know. And that's why I'm happy I came across you too, Shoe. You you about to get my Sunday okay. started every day. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. I, I listen to a lot of the old school people, but I mean, I even love people like you know Lost Boys. You know, just different yes. people. People who tell stories. Yes. You know, I'm not too I'm, new school with the stuff. Like I I, I turn off the radio. <laughs> Because right. they, they, they get you caught with a beat, but you be like, the lyrics, no. Mm-mm. So I, I want right. to go back to the times when they told stories, and, you know, you can learn from it. And I, I actually see you got a song, too, one of your motivational songs called Be Yourself. Now, I need you to tell the listeners, why is it so important to be yourself? Well, because you can always be the best. Mm-hmm. And a lot of times... Wonder, wonder why they can't fail to the highest level in life, and it's always because you can never be number one when you're trying to be someone else. Mm-hmm. But we could all be the very best for us. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? So that, that's really the basis. And in the song, you know, be yourself. It basically talks. It's my life story, and it just talks about how I made these discoveries along the way, and that it was important to just be yourself. And instead of, you know, trying to be cool and trying to do different things so that you can impress other people, it's much easier and you can go much further if you just be yourself. Right. I, I agree with you, man. I, you, you said it perfect. <laughs> so I'm definitely, I'm going to drop that link too so all the listeners, they can find out where to listen to that at. And before we yeah. get up out of here, where can the listeners find you at? Like social media, websites? I'm, I'm going to give you the time yeah. to just scroll it down. <laughs> I'm on uh, Instagram as Motivational Rap and Twitter as Motivational Rap. And, uh, but mostly, I would definitely prefer if everybody, you know, click on the link mm-hmm. and just kind of scroll through because not only is there, like, I, don't, I have even, like, my life story on there. It tells you everything about how, you know, I went from one place in life to another. Mm-hmm. And I know that some people will start to, they will see that, like, wow, this guy kind of got his emotions under control. Mm-hmm. And that's really important. So now my relationships are all good because I understand how to manage them. You know, emotionally, I'm happy all the time. Even, you know, I have bad days, but actually, you know, I, I'm able to recover. And I don't walk around with a Play bunch this of emotional triggers on my possible. shoulders. And that is possible to do that. And it's possible to achieve that. Mm-hmm. And I just want people to understand that. I know that's right, man. I'm telling you, people gonna love you, man. If they don't know about you, they they, they gonna learn today, man. They they gonna love you. We we need this positivity out here. Oh, you you made my day, man. I feel like I'm ready to go and take care of the day after this. Now, just at first, I was kind of waking up a little just down in the dump. So I. I think God then placed this in order today for us to have this conversation. Okay. <laughs> yes, really yes. do. So you guys heard it first here. Marcus M. Positive Parker, creator of that emotional healing toolbox. Marcus, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you coming on the show today, man. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate you. Oh, anytime. And just keep staying positive out there. And uh, you have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. I want the world and everything in it, Chico. Uh, the world is mine. Uh, I think a star face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think a star face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rose. I want the world and everything in it, Chico. Uh, the world is mine. Uh, I think a star face. 
Yeah, 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 I think it's our face. Yeah, 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 roll.